Hey, Jeremy here from Long Speed Marine. Today, we're working on putting new seat covers on the Skylark, so let's get into this now. First thing I'm working on here is the seats for Joanne's Skylark. Um, we are replacing the seat covers, uh, which are pretty trashed, and this actually seat base is pretty trashed. If you've tried to buy some bucket seats for a GMA body, you know how expensive they are. Uh, so we take what we can get. Obviously, I got a deal on these, but man, they are expensive. Otherwise, I would go and find a better seat. Um, so we got some issue with the springs. We got an issue with the foam is pretty much destroyed um, I do have some extra foam here, and I'm going to use this to help support the original stuff um, And try to fix that up, but I'm doing this as cheaply as possible The only thing that I bought are the covers for the seats and the hog rings um, So I'm going to go through and show you oh, I've already sliced my finger open on this rusty metal great um, So I'm going to go through and show you um, how I replace the seat covers and uh, hopefully this will help you out. Um, this is something that is, you know, if you take your time and do, you can do it on your own. You don't have to take it to an upholstery shop to do. Just take your time. I'm going to continue on cleaning these up. I am going to have to try and weld these springs up a little bit. This outside one here is one that I'm most concerned about. I'll get you in and show you here in a second and I'm going to try and weld this up um, so at least this outer spring um, isn't apart. So let me show you what's going on here with these springs and hopefully we can clean them up a little bit. So the spring here on the outside um, is completely broken so I'm going to try and weld those two together, clean this up a little bit, weld them. Um, these inner springs are broken so I'm going to try and hopefully weld this tab back on if I can. Um, there should be another one here um, I believe going to this other tab. Maybe not because that side doesn't have it, um, but I'm going to try and weld this one up. Um, if not, this one's not the end of the world, but this outside one um, will really help stiffen this seat up a little bit and stop me from leaning over to the one side. Um, so I'm going to blow all the rest of this junk off of this seat and uh, clean this up and we'll try. Hopefully I can get it on this thick part right here and just weld these two pieces in together um, so that that stays solid. So that worked, um, that's got that fixed up. So now what I'm gonna do is get out the old uh, rebuild in a can and uh, just go over this and shoot all this stuff with some black. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna get too fussy about trying to clean most of this stuff up uh, because frankly you can't really see it once it's in the car. So I'm good with that. All right, so I didn't really go over the disassembly too much on the uh, base of the seat there. And I'm not really gonna go over it too much on here because your seat may be a little bit different than this. Uh, basically started by taking the back panel off, the side panels off of the base, um, unbolting the back from the seat base. And uh, here we are on the seat base, just go through, um, use a set of side cutters and cut your hog rings. That's what these little rings are called. Hog rings do not come with the seat covers, um, so you're going to want to go ahead and order those separately. Uh, make sure you have them if you're going to be doing this job, tackling this job. Um, so just basically cut your hog rings off. I like to keep a mental note, even though I'll forget, uh, where roughly the hog rings went, but you can usually tell uh, because there will be holes or there's little um, rings in the actual seat, the back and the base. Now the seat back doesn't have a whole lot of hog rings. There's just a few across here. The base has a ton of hog rings. Um, hog rings holding the foam on, which this one does too, but hopefully this foam will be in better shape than the base. The bases always get pretty beat up. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut these hog rings off and hopefully I'll be able to peel this seat cover off with not too much difficulty. Again, I just use the side cutters, 
and sort of pull them off. You don't have to pull them all the way out um, when you start peeling this cover off. I usually try to get most of them out because for sure you'll go ahead and cut your fingers off or whatever. Awesome. I like to make notes sometimes too of how they do this and hold them in. You see here, they basically pinch this top section together up the top um, to make the seat tighter. Um, so we'll see when I'm putting the other covers back on, I may do the same thing where I put a hog ring up in the top here. I'll show you. Um, up in the top here, um, I may put a hog ring there where they had one as well just to pinch this together a little. So getting it off of these edges here and around these edges, this is always the hardest part. This is where I've ripped the seat covers before. Um, there's a seam right along the bottom here. So I've ripped this in and around this area before. Um, so this is where you gotta kinda take a little bit more care getting that edge on when you go back on. Obviously I don't really care now. I could actually even just cut this whole thing off, um, but I'm trying to be just as careful as possible and pay attention. Um, there will be hog rings up through the center. It holds the edges um, here of the seat cover in. That's what holds these pieces in and tight. Um, so if you don't get those back in there, that's when you can tell someone's done that when this pull seat doesn't really seem to fit tight in and you don't have that nice line in there. Um, so there, there are hog rings in here. Sometimes what you can do is peel this back and get them here, just like this. Um, or you may just cut them off on the inside. So on the inside here, there'll be hog rings that hold the seat cover on as well as the actual seat foam. Um, so you will end up probably cutting both of them and maybe having to put the seat foam ones back in. I was gonna say this foam is actually in not bad shape, but it looks like somebody had lunch at some point. Um, but the back, the seat foam on the box is usually not too bad. Um, so we'll try and do our best to get these seat covers back on. But first, I gotta clean out somebody's house back here. Yuck. All right, so you're probably wondering what I'm doing with our uh, good towels out here. And you, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you go and get the best towels out of the house. And uh, that's gonna help you out here. Now, why am I using this? Well, everything is on a budget. So the original seats have this protective covering um, that goes around the springs so that basically the springs don't cut through the foam. Otherwise the springs will cut right through that foam. So that's what this is for. Now, the original ones, um, these openings here is where you run the hog rings through. Um, and uh, basically, yeah, that's what those openings are for. So we're not gonna have that, but that's okay. And I didn't wanna spend the money to buy all this foam and stuff. Um, so I happen to have some old bath towels here. And uh, I'm just gonna use this to protect our springs or protect our foam from the springs. So lay it out over here. I'll just trim this um, around the edge. Lay it down nice and flat. And we'll just trim this just below the edge and then I'll hog ring this um, to the actual base. Just a few, a few hog rings on it. Um, and then we'll go and put our foam on and I'll show you how I'm gonna try and fix up that foam a little bit using the other stuff that we've got here. I mean, it's Joanne's car, so I'm sure she doesn't mind that I'm using our best towels, right? If it was my car, she'd probably mind, but this is her car, so she probably won't mind. All right, so this is the kit of the hog rings. So they got hog ring pliers, and uh, these are your hog rings. 
Um, I'm hoping I have enough, I should, but I'll just go light on them. Um, so basically, the tool, um, hopefully your tool will be spring-loaded. You just load it in the tool like that. Um, we're going to start on this corner, wrap it around, and uh, give her a squeeze, and away you go. That's it. All right, so we've got that towel down there to protect this seat foam. Um, and as you can see, this seat foam is pretty trashed. Um, so what I'm gonna try and do is these small areas here where it's pretty beat up, um, in the back here, um, and uh, in this area, what I'm gonna do is take my other foam that I have here and just try to fill in these areas a little bit. Again, I'm gonna add just a little bit across the back here um, and a little bit in this area. What I'm gonna do is try and tuck this in here. I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. Um, and hopefully we can save this seat foam as best we can, because again, all this stuff is pretty expensive and it adds up quick. Um, so we wanna make sure that we've got this pushed back. Um, and then I'm gonna trim up some of this just to fit in those areas. All right, so I'm just gonna use some of this adhesive spray kind of hold these together a little bit. So that should be okay once it's uh, the top is on there. So the seed bases of these, they also have a little bit of padding to them. Um, so that will help fill in some of these little voids in here, um, but that will make this at least hold together a little bit longer. Um, and I mean, if we ever find at a later date that this is terribly uncomfortable. We can always come back and change this a little bit, but hopefully this will, like I say, help us salvage this a little bit here. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is try to hog ring this down as best I can. Um, and we will then try to get the seat base cover on. Okay, so here's our seat covers. Um, so you can see in the seat cover too, there is um, also some built-in padding here as well. So that'll help take up some of those voids on the inside. Um, but what we do need to do is make sure that we get some hog rings um, on these sections in here. This is a lovely color to try and keep clean while you're assembling these. Um, of course, this is what Joanne wanted. And I, I mean, I think it's definitely gonna look nice. I love this color interior. This is the pearl. Um, interior. Um, so we're going to try our best here to get this put down and uh, hog ringed into place. So the trickiest part about this, because we have to put those hog rings uh, down in these seams here, um, we want to make sure that we get it back as tight as possible before we try to put any hog rings down in there. Um, and then, I don't know, there's probably, you know, upholstery guys telling me that I'm doing this all wrong, uh, but this is just how I've sort of always tried to fight with these things to get them on. Um, you know, I'll uh, continue fighting here, but I mean, the key is if you can pull these edges back up, um, and because I'm dealing with such horrible foam, that makes it pretty tricky. But if I can pull these edges back up and get a couple of these hog rings in, reach up inside, that's going to be the best for me um, to get this thing hog ring down is to reach up in there.
missed. Shoot. And that's what you end up doing. Missing. I mean, I don't know why they sew this edge on the wrong side. They basically end up sewing this edge that you're supposed to hoggering down, facing the wrong direction. If they had it done it the other way around, it would have been much easier. I don't know. I'm telling you, there's probably a better way to do this. But here we are. Did I get it? No, I missed it again. Shoot. All right, so I've pulled it all the way off the front. We're gonna try doing this again here. If I can get this on this bar somehow. Come on. Missed again. How in the heck? Man, oh man. Like I said, I wish they put this darn thing on the other side. so hard. Got it. Alright. Next. Now, can I pull this back over again? Oh, okay. Leave it like that. Next. Okay, so of course this side went uh, easier than this side did. Turn the camera off and it goes a little bit easier, but uh, isn't that always the way? So we've got this on the top. Now what I need to do is I'm just gonna put something down to protect the top of this. I've got another towel there um, and we're just gonna hog ring down all the rest of this now. Um, and that's the seat base pretty much done. These hog rings here, um, there's spots, holes up front where you put a couple in the front, you pull these straps back and tight, um, and then down along the side, they've got these little openings here. I've got one that's kind of broken. I should have welded it up when I had the welder out, but that's okay. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and hog ring all those down. Um, this, this part of it's pretty straightforward. That, Honestly, that was the most difficult part of putting this whole seat cover on. The back is gonna be a little bit of a different story again, um, because down these seams in the back um, of the actual seat base, um, there's some hog rings in there as well. So that two parts are the most difficult part and then making sure you get this stretched over. Um, this will even out a little bit, but it'll also get wrinkles in it from you sitting on it and whatnot. So I'm not overly concerned about it, I'm more concerned that now we have a nice looking seat in the car. It is important, and I think some guys, I've seen seats where they actually skip this, where they don't get the hog rings down in the center portion, um, and it really helps to pull those covers in and make it, just finish it all off so it doesn't look like one big flat, like you put an aftermarket actual seat cover over top of it. Um, that's why those aftermarket seat covers usually don't look the greatest because they just sit up around these bolsters. Um, so you wanna make sure that you get those hog rings in all the way around. So the best thing that I like to try and do is slip it over first, um, just so you can see what you're working with, see where your difficult areas are gonna be trying to get this seat um, cover up and over and back off. I'm gonna try, just slip this on first to see where the difficulty is gonna be, peeling this off and on. Um, and then we'll get to the fun part of hog ringing all this inside stuff down. All right, so I can already tell you too that this bottom piece here is gonna be really tricky to fold this back over once this is all down and tight. 
Um, so this is going to be a bit, bit of a tricky spot, but you basically you turn it inside out like that and then flip it over and then we can get it on. Um, so what I'm trying to do now is just get this into position where it would sit when it's all hog ringed on. I can probably, without having to peel this top up, I can probably do this from the bottom here. try to fit it on unfortunately there's these creases in it too and those wrinkles won't ever really come out because they're bent in there I should have taken this out of the box earlier but oh well I'm just trying to fit these down yeah that's gonna work all right because there's my I've got my hand up in the inside in that well where the hog rings will glow and I'm just making sure that I'm lined up with that divot in there which I am so I'm going to start in my center one get that in first so I can hopefully peel this up yeah oh yeah I can see that really well let me see if I can get you guys in position so you can see okay so hopefully you can see up in here I've got this peeled back and this is where my hog rings need to go. Actually, I've got a couple in there I want to cut out of the old ones. Um, so I'm going to cut out a couple of those old ones and then get this in there. So it looks like, yeah, they might have only, yeah, so they only had three hog rings, I think, to start with. Um, so that's good. We don't need to do too many. Now you want to make sure you don't cut too many of these hog rings because a couple of them are actually holding in the seat foam. Um, so we don't want to cut those ones out. Um, there's one here holding the seat foam in and one on the other side. And then this middle one and the outer edges is what hold the cover in. Okay, now let's get set up with our hog rings here. Let's put those on the floor. So we get our hog rings set and our pliers here. These hog rings are a little bit big. They could have been the smaller ones, the half inch ones, but that's what I had, was able to get on uh, Amazon quickly and easily. So I'm gonna pull that top piece tight. Get down in here, man. Get her on. Oh, I just missed. This is the tricky part, being able to see and clamp this down at the same time. It's a bit tough. I'm gonna to wanna to pull this just a bit tighter if I can. I'm gonna cut that one back out. I don't like my first one. Hopefully I'm not blocking the camera too much. You guys can see, but there's always a bit of a struggle. So what I'm just trying to do is feel the bar underneath and get this hog ring in there and around that bar. Perfect. That's going to be great. All right, now I got to go. I just want to make sure you don't pinch the foam too much. Pull that foam back out so it adds that bolster in there. So I got to get one on this side now. So this is going to be tricky. Pull it down. Take a look. Make sure we're good here which we are peel this back up my hog ring all right peel the foam back peel this back just a little bit out pull down push all right again feel for that bar Push down and squeezy. I get it. 
Not quite. I just missed. Did I? I'm going to put another one on that side just in case. You really got to push down to try and get that bar. Oh, I totally missed on that one. All right, let's cut that out. Where's the bar? Okay, so the bar's out. I don't like this one that I first did. Get that one out. Okay. Don't poke the hog thing through, through your new seat cover. So we've got our, I've got to do one over here still, but I just wanted to show you. So we're pulling these in so you get that nice bolster in there. Um, so I'm going to carry on doing the rest of these here. Um, I've got to crank some tunes. And uh, we'll see you when we're almost done. All right, so now I'm on to the back seat, which is uh, obviously the bench seat. So this is a lot easier to do. Basically, we're just gonna cut this one all off, pull the hog rings off, and uh, then you just pull the back seats over. This is the top part. Um, so I'm just gonna wheel through this pretty quickly. I'm gonna try and save these covers because these covers are actually fairly decent. Um, this piece, fabric piece on the other one is a little bit rough, but you can always stitch in a new fabric piece to this. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and save these because these are a nice blue seat cover. There's no rips in them at all, I don't think. Maybe a little one in the bottom, like on the edge where you can't see it. Uh, so I'm going to try and be really careful with these to save these seat covers. So again, just like the other ones, we just basically Start cutting away at our hog rings. And I hope I have enough hog rings left. I don't have many left here. Um, kind of went on the last seat base. Kept missing a bunch of them, unfortunately. So I'm hoping I have enough. Anyways, I'm just going to carry on cutting these things off and peel off that seat, the seat cover. All right, so you saw me sort of line it up there and uh, I'm just putting a few in right now to start to get this in position and tight. Um, I should be centered because I'm about the same on each side really. I'm actually a little bit that way. I'll try and pull this down a bit. That's a little bit better. Um, so I just put a few across the top and uh, now I'll pull my bottom corners over, up and over the bottom as best I can. And uh, 
pull this bottom one up. See, this bottom one has to come all the way up to this bar. So that's going to be a bit of a struggle. Um, so I'm going to have to try and work it down a little bit. From here. Pull and stretch over the bottom. Get it to this bar. Get this side up. Over. a lot of stretching and fitting really all right so this one's close so I'm gonna have to put a hog ring here where to put my pliers on the floor okay over there all right I can get just one in on this side that'd be marvelous Stretch up, stretch up. Whee! There we go. I need my pliers. I need my pliers. Come on, squeeze. Oh, no, I can't. It's squeezy, squeezy. Oh, there we go. Okay, squeezy a little more. Okay. All right, now if I can get this side. Just pull this over, come on. Knee stretch. Knee stretch. Again. Yeah, stretch. Okay, up and over there. Yeah. All right, so now I'm just gonna keep working my way across and then at the end, I'll get these corners peeled in and done. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Look at All right, so there's the back of the seat back, top piece done. Now I just gotta do all that again on the bottom one. All right, so I'm on to the headrest now, and uh, these headrests are pretty beat up. This one is anyways. The other one wasn't too bad. I've already done it um, just because I wasn't sure how it was gonna go, so I wanted to do it off camera before I show you folks what I'm doing. So. I've got this one taped up a little bit. I'm gonna tape it up a little bit more. This will unfortunately show through a little bit. Um, but basically, I don't know if this is absolutely the proper way to do this, but I'm gonna assume it is. And uh, basically what we're gonna do is just slip this cover over top of this one, because this is like molded onto it. It's like, sealed onto the foam. Um, so there's no way to take this one off, at least that I can tell or I've been able to figure out. So I'm just gonna 
tape this up as best I can to try and hide some of this mess. Although, like I said, it still will probably show through. But, hey, it's better than it was, and it'll definitely look better than it does at the moment. So I'll try to put that in there. Oops. That'll cover that up. I'm gonna put a little bit of tape. There was a hole here that was kind of punched through. So I'm just trying to doctor that up a little bit. Oops. This is uh, gaff tape, they call it. Uh, it's kind of like a fiber tape. It's not like duct tape. It's, it's more like a fabric, almost like a hockey tape. Okay, so now I'm going to take my headrest and basically just try and fold it over this. I'm going to turn it inside out a little bit. Um, and then just fold it over and then you just sort of tuck it underneath this plastic piece. Um, I should cut this. That's going to cause me an issue. And you just sort of tuck it under the plastic piece and at the back here I just used a bit of uh, contact cement or adhesive to glue it on. So. This is pretty easy, just slip these over. Oops. Get this inside out more. As always, of course, the one that I did off camera worked better than this one is. Come on. That. Shoot, that's what I was afraid of. Oh, sugar. Back on. Sign in. Open around. Hmm, what's going on there? Oh, shoot. Oh. Work this edge over. This one's fitting quite a bit tighter than the other one did, actually. I don't know if this headrest is swollen a little bit. Okay. That's pretty much it. Get it in place where you want it. Work this in. Want to have enough so we can tuck this back piece under. So, I mean, honestly, you could just leave it like that and slam it down the seat and never lift it up and it'd be just fine. Um, but anyways, I want to tuck that under. So I got this, rip this edge here, just the, oh no, it was this side. Just ripped it a little bit here. Um, anyways, that'll sort of get hidden. Not too concerned. So I've got just one of these plastic sort of, um, I don't know, trim tools. So we're just gonna lift up on this plastic piece, tuck this under. And again, I don't know if this is 100% the way you're supposed to do this, but Anyways, that's how I'm doing it. And uh, the other one looked all right. So I'm gonna assume this one's gonna look all right too. I'll tuck that in. Now we're gonna start working down the side. Tucking this in the side here. There we go. Like that. Okay. There. Doesn't look too bad. Some of these wrinkles will come out as it sort of sits in the sun. And uh, there we go. So, like I said, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back here 
just to hold this back clip in, but I mean, honestly, to me, it feels like you don't even really have to, but I'm gonna. Try not to make a mess. Gotta let this stuff set up, of course. Trying to get it on both sides. Set up a little bit. Okay, so there's the front seats all done, headrests are all fixed up. Um, yeah, they're a little bit lumpy uh, because underneath is a bit trashed. I mean, I guess I could have padded that up somehow, but I didn't really want to monkey around with it. I'm not too concerned. That makes them look way better, obviously, than they did. Um, the back seat, the bottom looks great. Uh, the top looks great, and uh, this is going to look awesome when it's back in the car. So, hey, stick around for the next one when I get this back in the car, and uh, make sure you hit that subscribe, smash the like. I appreciate all of you following along with my builds. Thanks very much, and take care.